The artist behind Peg the Patriarchy wishes Kara Delavine gave her credit. Luna Maditas, a queer woman of color who runs a small business, has owned the trademark the Delavine War to the Met Gala since 2015. Uh-oh. Are we exploiting the labor of the underprivileged? Are we doing it again? The vest is by Dior designer Maria Grazia Chiori, who designed the We Should All Be Feminist shirt for Dior's 2017 spring collection. But the trademark holder for the phrase Peg the Patriarchy, Luna Matras, an independent artist, sex educator, and queer woman of color, claims that it's a direct ripoff of her own apparel line. Well, that does certainly seem to be the same line. Guys, can I be real with you? Maybe I'm a class reductionist, because I'm about to give some based-ass, racist, sexist takes, okay? I... Is it possible that we could ever talk about these issues? Ever. I mean, is it even conceivable? Maybe this is super problematic of me. Without throwing out all of the demographic identifiers of everyone involved, like their fucking Pokemon cards, it's very strange to me. If we're talking about a design being stolen, it seems like the implicit idea here is that, like, because they're a queer woman of color and they're what, like, I, I understand there are racialized elements to copyright abuse and the way that art is appropriated, but it feels like sometimes it's done really disingenuously, like it's being invoked, like, all the time, you know what I mean? Or how do I, how do I put this in a slightly better way? You know what I mean? I think that unless this article is willing to go into the racialized elements of, of like, cultural appropriation, they maybe shouldn't touch on it as much as they do. Because they touch on it here. And here. You know? Um, but then they don't talk about the race of this person, Maria Grazia Ciuri, which I'm going to guess is probably not, not Anglo-white. You know? But then they do say queer woman of color here, which it's like, it seems, I don't know, it, it, it seems like we're, we're trying to lay, yeah, it seems like lazy virtue signaling, like we're trying to paint like, it seems like they're trying to insinuate the existence of a real political problem that they're not willing to really substantiate. So instead they kind of poke at it a little bit in a, in a vague, like half committal way, which might actually be worse than not doing anything at all. Italian equals POC. Oh, is this person Italian? Is that true? Hold on. Is this an Italian name? Oh, I never mind. This person is white. I'm guessing they might actually be the most white person. Man, that name threw me for a loop. Might actually be the most white human being I've ever seen. Also, when you look at photos of her on, um, on Google image search, they're all like desaturated. It's all black and white, which I do hate. Like, look, it's like all of them. Does she insist on this? Why? What is she hiding from us? That she's white? Is this, is this ambiguity being brought about by d d deliberately? So that's the case. I don't know, guys. Anyway, you understand what I'm saying, right? That's just how she looks. Yeah, she just looks like naturally um, uh, monochrome, grayscale. True. Claims the direct up off. Um, pegging for the uninitiate is a sex act where one partner wears a strap on dildo and penetrates the other, usually referring to anal sex. That is true. Matadas said she found out about the event at the same time as everyone else. I was teaching a kink class on, online and went to Twitter to share how fun it was. When I saw mentions and tags of me on the photo of Kara wearing a vest with Peg the Patriarchy on it, she registered the trademark phrase in 2015. Oh, if it's, if it's registered. So this is registered. Did she make it? Yeah, her apparel line. Okay. She was surprised how far it traveled. As a queer woman of color, I thrive in community with people of all genders committed to fighting patriarchy. Does this fight patriarchy? Oh, honor of sexual brand awareness. Blame the media for running the story. Artists should be able to vent for not getting credit. Oh, yeah, I'm not blaming the artists here. I'm blaming the media. I hate the media. Peg the patriarchy. It's about women's empowerment, equality, gender equality, you know. It's like stick it to the man. I feel like criticizing this. Should we criticize this? I feel like criticizing this. TOS, it's fine. Chill. Um, bad phrase. I don't have anything against pegging, though I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of it. Um, let me, uh, let me think. What is it about that? What is it about that that feels like weird to me? I'm trying to think. First of all, how do I feel about the phrase "peg the patriarchy" being trademarked? Is that like? I don't know if I feel comfortable with with phrases like that being like copyrighted. I don't know. Like copywriting three words, like instead of "fuck the patriarchy," it's "peg the patriarchy," and "peg" is a type of fucking. Like, okay, I don't know. That seems like 
I don't know if I like that, you know, because it seems like the kind of thing people could reasonably arrive at on their own. It's not like a brand specific statement necessarily that's like very sort of pushed off into its own corner. Um, I don't know if it comes off as kink shamey. If anything, to me, it just kind of comes off as like gate gas girl keep boss light or something. You know what I mean? There's like a, there's something about it. It's like, God. I guess I don't have much of a problem with it if it's like funny, you know, uh, and just like a funny little meme people don't take too seriously. But sometimes artists statements on artists piece pieces actually make me like them less, you know, like if somebody was like, dude, peg the patriarchy, like whatever, you know, but if somebody then wrote an essay on its meaningfulness, I don't know, I think that would make me see it in a much worse light. It seems like it's a very shallow statement. It's just fuck the patriarchy, but instead the word fuck has been replaced with a type of fucking that, yes, implies the reversal of traditional power dynamics. There's nothing inherently wrong with that or anything. It's just, it seems to me like it's better placed as a silly catchphrase than it is like a trademarked phrase. I mean, listen to this. You know, the phrase has traveled in mainstream culture and uh, happy to, let me see. I coined Peg the Patriarchy in 2015. It's about subversion, not about an anal sex act, and not about men. It's a metaphor for subverting the system that requires subservience within a gender binary. I've met so many cool people through this art throughout the past five years. It has brought me joy, livelihood, giggles, hate, and connection. A pretty good mixed bag. I don't know. Coined? I don't know. It's not about men? Okay. I don't know. Whatever. You're not getting me on this one. Luna Matadas coined Peg the Patriarchy in 2015 to get provocative about subverting the system of patriarchy. Patriarchy has no gender, working to dismantle it benefits us all. Okay, I agree with that. I don't know. Pegging is not about pegging, then, I guess. Yeah, if you're pegging, doesn't that imply you don't have a dick? So, I, I don't know. Oh, look, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's something about... There's some there's something about it. I don't know. It's the vibes... I don't, I, don't, I don't know, okay? There's something about... If I saw a person with a peg the patriarchy shirt, something just tells me that I wouldn't like them and they wouldn't like me. I don't, I don't know. You could probably do pegging and chastity. Sure. 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 Sometimes it's just a vibes thing, you know? Oh yeah, I saw this. This is some good ass shit. Absolutely. This might be this might be worthy of uh This is really good. This might be worthy of like a, a an Abbey for a little while, you know? This is really good. I'm a logic lord. The beard looks good, yeah. See, I I think I look good fat as long as I'm sculptured in white uh, marble. You know? Yes, Aldenius Vosh. The Lord. Does anyone look bad in sculpted marble? Who was that one? Hold on. Roman Emperor Marble Bust. There was the one guy, I saw memes about that, and he just looked like a dude. You know what I mean? He just looked like Fat, fat Tony a little bit. Does anyone know what I'm talking about here? Here's Titus. Here we go. Here's the Emperor Titus, okay? We stan. We stan a normal looking king. <laughs>